Hey y'all. So welcome to or welcome back to Figs Outside. So right now I'm doing an update on the coal pin uh, switchblade ATV snow plow. It is cold right now. It is super, super cold. Um, we're at, it was negative two this morning um, here on location and uh, here at the house. And I think right now it's about uh, eight or 10 degrees, I believe. Um, so anyway, what I'm doing is I am putting new push tubes on the plow because the original ones right here are only 31. Ooh, let's see, oh, here we go. Just, uh, they're like 31 and a quarter inches. So the new ones, are 38 inches that I did. I just went and got some one and a half inch tubing. As you can see right there, it is a uh, 10 gauge or you can go with eight, eight inch or three sixteenths. Um, these ones are 38 inches, I do believe. I'm brain farting right now. It is really, really cold. My hands hurt. So I'm gonna go inside and warm them up. I just wanted to make this video really quick. Uh, so I cut them and then I just used the old ones is a template. Yeah, 38 inches. So these ones are 38 inches. And like I said, I just used them as a template to drill the holes, mark them, used my, oh, just poured a bunch of shavings out. So I put them together, used a C-clamp, um, and then used my drill press. My garage is really torn apart right now. Sorry about that. But uh, anyway, so I will post a so like I said, I'll post a picture right here, right here. They were about seven inches short. And so it was tucked underneath the fair lead as you'll, as you'll see in the picture. Um, so I got these newer ones are longer. So hopefully everything works out. And uh, yeah, it'll, the winch hook that is on the bracket will sit uh, just in front of the roller fair lead on the bottom of the winch. So anyway, I'm going to get back to work. Like I said, this is just a quick update and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right. Oh, real quick side note, guys. So for the bottom portion, um, let's see, down here, I used, like I said, I used the old ones as a template, but I should also mention that when you do the top, because it's longer, so it's gonna be wider, wider here, dimensionally. So you use it as a template, but you also might have to drill out the frame down here. This one has two holes in it. I'll show you guys right here. So this one has two holes. It ended up fitting perfect. I already measured it beforehand. So just be sure, measure yours, just a quick tip um, to be sure that it does fit. And um, hey, you can see it's all frosting up. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna put this thing on and we'll see how it looks. All right, y'all, so I got her all mounted up. Uh, you can see under there. Yeah. Compared to the photo earlier, there it is there. So it's a slightly, ever so slightly, just a little bit. I mean, I could have went with 39 inches. Um, and I would have put it about an inch in front of the winch roller fair lead right there. So you can see it there. Ugh. So you can actually see from before where the cable um, right here actually smashed up into it because it sat so far back. But now it goes up. Nice and smooth. There it is. It goes down nice and smooth. Because before I couldn't even, yeah, it would right there. Uh, hold on. About right there was as close as I could get it to the ground. I mean, that's you know, it's two fingers. Now I can get it up there quite a bit, have a lot more clearance. So there it is. Quick little update on the Colpin snow plow uh, switchblade. 
pretty awesome design, just terrible instructions. And it seems to be a common problem for those tubes to be too short for most uh, ATV applications. Um, but uh, I even looked and got a hold of them. They actually sell a mounting kit for this Suzuki um, and several of the others, but the kits put the 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 actual kit meant for the ATV instead of the universal mount. Actually, it's it does the same thing. It it mounts up and it will be too short. Um, when I contacted Colpin, they said yes, this is it. Blah blah blah. They gave me the measurements and it puts it exactly where it is. Even the sales. Uh, person said it the tubes are too short it'll put it exactly where i have the universal mount and they're like 80 bucks so um i just got longer tubes and i went to our local uh uh metal shop and i got the tubes and i paid 35 bucks even so, oh man it's frosting up pretty good but anyway so there it is guys i'm rambling on thanks for hanging out with me thanks for watching this video and I hope it helps you out if you guys look at the snowplow. I'll post a link in the description below for the other video and vice versa. All right. Thanks, guys. And I hope you all have a great day. All right. Bye-bye.